Buddy, I picked up this hammer for a dollar at a garage sale here the other day. So kind of looking for a fun project to do here. I'm going to try to turn this into what I'm going to call a cam hatchet. So I'm going to take the head and drop that down to a small sort of axe blade. And I think I'm just going to leave the claw as it is for pulling up tent stakes and whatnot. Um, so we're going to give it a try here. Let me get the forge going. Now this first heat here, I'm just, I think I'm just going to stick it in as it is. This handle's all busted all the hell, so it needs a new handle anyway. So I'm just going to stick it in as it is and let the handle burn out while the metal's getting hot. I think, I think. So I'm just going to try to get that part hot. Forge is on. Let's see how It's hard to hold on to. So the issue I'm having is it's kind of hard to hold on to. There. This is where I wish I had a straight bean hammer. Get to use the new fire poker I made. Hmm. I think I might have to adjust these tongs before I can do too much more on this. I think if you can see they go out pretty wide. I think I need those a little narrower so that I can hold on them. Stop! They were already hot. Let's see what I can do. Well, that's not working too bad, but that's with the flat. I like my uh, bellows. It's, you can see it on there. It's just an old hair dryer. Put the ground fault interrupt plug with the test and reset on it. It's awesome. Let's me turn it on and off. Super easy. And we're hot again. Not 
great, but not terrible. I think we can make this work. I do you think so? Yeah, I need to be able to draw it that way, though. Huh. Yeah, over there, just using this side of the plate should work. We'll see if it does. <laughs> wow, that's eating. Here's what's left of the handle. Ouch. Spark got me. Here's what's left of the handle. I'm sure these are the right tongs for the job. Actually, I'm certain they aren't. But they're the only tongs I've got. So I'm going to try to do this with them. And then maybe next I'll make some better tongs. I'm going to quick adjust, adjust these tongs so they're not quite so wide. Those are hot. <laughs> now I 
probably just destroyed. I have seen, and maybe I should try, seeing other people that hold these, put these plates upside down so it's a bigger flat surface. I don't know. Sometimes I can use these ridges like to cut off or fill or things like that. So I'm not sure I want to go that route. The nice thing about these small pieces of metal, they heat fast. Some, sometimes too fast and it gets me in trouble. It's like too hot. This end of the tongs is getting hot.
think I'm a little better. They're ugly now. That's right. They don't need to be pretty as long as they work. <laughs> but if they're ugly and they don't work. having all sorts of issues with it. I killed the flame for a minute here. I think I gotta try something other than those tongs. Right. Not real optimistic that this is gonna work better. I have a pair of decent sized lines with players there to try and
actually probably almost there. I mean, it's not a real big blade, but it's not, you know, meant to do much more than split kindling. I think I'm going to try to pound a bevel into there. We'll see what it looks like. Son's ball peen on this one. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't mind. I guess if I break it off, he'll land Break it. I'm probably doing something wrong. Shouldn't break it. At least not. At least I shouldn't. Not when they're this new. heat we might have it It'd be fun if this turns out. Heck, maybe I could sell it. Maybe I could get enough for it. Buy myself a pair of decent tongs. Wouldn't that be something? Do I need an anvil? I do. Cool here, let me Let's see if it'll focus here. Let's see if you can see that or not. Hopefully. Let's try this trick. Alright, flattened out pretty nice. There's the kind of head-on view. Not too bad. I'm gonna let it cool off nice and slow. So I can try uh putting it I'll just take it to a wire wheel and clean it up a little bit and see what it looks like all right so I cleaned up that uh, hammerhead looked at it a little bit and I'm pretty happy with how it looks I think it'll work from what I was thinking so got some oil Heating it up, I'm going to give it a quench in the oil to get a good card. Then uh, I suppose I'll have to temper it to 
evening and then, well then I'll have to figure out how to do that. I've never done that. Get a new handle for it and I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. I'm excited to see it. So it's heating up now. Let's get it hard. Here we go. Give it a little. <laughs> that flash is fun. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't just break it. Just fine. Just fine indeed. All right. All right, you'll have to kind of forgive my messy messy workbench here but it's been a little busy the last few days with the new baby so uh, I got a wire wheel on the little drill press here so I'm gonna see if I get this cleaned up now that we got it hardened and see what it looks like Still a little bit on the warm side, so I'm holding it with the pliers, but it's it's cooling down. It's getting there.
cleaning up quite nicely. Interesting, you can see some tool marks in it from from its past life. May have had kind of <laughs> well it was a dollar at a garage sale, so it probably didn't have the best, most highly respected life before this. Uh, I kind of see the tool mark, the maker's mark on it here now. Uh, not really in this light. If I can get a better, I'll put the macro lens on it and show you guys here before I put the video up. Maybe some of you might know if it's got a story behind it. Or if it's just a cheap, who knows. Maybe it started out like it's just a cheap local hardware store type hammer. Who knows. But, yeah. It's looking quite nice. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Bring it up and refocus it here. Maybe refocus it. There. Oh, oh. There. Yeah, it's looking kind of nice. I'm going to see if I can't polish up the blade a little bit more, make it look a little prettier, a little less hammered. I'm going to switch over on the drill press there, switch from the wire brush to a sanding wheel and see if that works. Got a handle on it. There. So, now, got a piece of firewood here. Come over to my splitting log. Move the axe. And... My whole goal for this is to be able to use it for splitting kindling. So, let's see if it'll split something. Now this isn't intended to be, you know, big firewood chopper, just splitting up kindling. Let's see, let's see if I can hold the camera and do this. Ooh, hey, hey for holding the camera at the same time. Yeah, I think this is gonna do exactly what I want it to do. There it goes. Now, I can take the piece that I just split. Yeah, not that way. Not with hickory. It ain't gonna work. Hickory, if you don't, if you haven't worked with it at all, it's a very hard, but really long fibered wood. So from the end, it splits beautifully, but smaller pieces, or but from the side, trying to split it like this, good luck. <clears throat> I've done it with a maul before, but not so successful with a hatch, hatchet. So one more chop here, look at that. And now when it's real little, there we go. Nice and small and easy to control for splitting up kindling like this. Ha! Ah, love it. And it sticks. There we have it. Uh, successful, uh, successful job. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you have thoughts, things I could do better, things that I did well. <laughs> Let me know what you think. There it is. I don't know if there's a name for this sort of thing, but I'm going to call it a camp hatchet. Because then this end would be great for pulling up your tent stakes at the end, or who knows. Sweet. There it is.